Hi there, my name's Ben and today we've got the Rug Gear RG100 which we're just going to film a quick unboxing video, take you around some of the features and just show you how this great handset um, can come in handy really uh, whilst you're out and about, be it outdoors, engaging in all sorts of outdoors activities or just camping or even just at work day to day. So initially we're going to unbox it and then we'll talk a little bit around it. So this is an IP68 certified handset, which means it is waterproof. And you'll see straight away, nice compact box. Uh, in here we appear to have all the various international connections for the charger and the USB. So the USB cable is used both for plugging into um, anything really that can charge the handset and then it's got the mains power adapter, which you would normally leave at home. So we're just going to close that over for a minute, I'm sure you all know what a charger looks like. So now we're going to have a little look underneath this particular level and see what other goodies we get in the box. And we have a user manual, so pretty standard there, just make sure this is in focus. So we've got the user manual for the uh, device, quick start guide. Warranty cards, just in case you want to fill out the warranty there. Uh, and straight away we can see there's one of these little widgets which are normally used for taking off the screws on the back cover, just here. So a few turns and that will undo, and then you can simply insert the battery um, or remove it for changing of SIM cards and things. Little rug gear sticker, stick that somewhere good, send us a photo. Rug gear cleaning cloth, just to keep your handset nice and clear and a spare screen protector. Now despite these having protective screens uh, from scratch resistance and things it is worth keeping a screen protector on as it can increase the life of the handset and just you know keep it clear and easy to see. A uh, pair of headphones in there as well with an inline microphone, nice black kind of compact ones. We'll not unpack those, I'm sure you've all seen a pair of headphones before. Okay so just taking the box out of the way for a second this one we've actually pre-installed the battery so it's ready to go and we've got two SIM cards running in the handset because it is a dual SIM phone. Taking a look around the outside of the handset, we'll start on the left hand side and you should be able to see on the top we have a button. That button is used to control the torch on the top which is a really large lens torch and it's actually very very bright. If we press the button once you get the torch on, press it a second time, torch but brighter just to show you how bright that actually is. There you'll see, and what we can then do is press it again, now the torch is in SOS, and a final time, and that's strobing. So we'll just turn that torch off for a second, just refocus the camera so you can see what we're doing. We want to get that nice and in focus on the handset. There we go, and that's it. So the torch could save your life in an emergency situation outdoors. Looking down the front of the handset, we see this illuminated circle. This is used for the navigation on the menu. And you'll see the menu itself is very simple, easy to use. And red and green, and a nice clear white uh, digits on top of a black background illuminated keypad. Always handy to see if you're in the dark, at night or anything like that. Or if you're wearing gloves, very positive to press. Looking on the right hand side of the handset, see these two charging points initially. These are for an accessory which is currently being developed and should be with us in the future. And we have the volume down and volume up key. Then immediately next to the volume up key we see something that isn't very common in most handsets and this is a unique feature to the RG100. This is a full USB port. I hope that's in focus for you there. Uh, the purpose of the USB port is actually to use as uh, what's sometimes referred to as a power bank, a portable battery, portable charger for any of your devices. Talking of devices, here we have a Ruggear RG900 rugged tablet and you'll see we've removed the charger cover and we've currently got the USB lead plugged in. What we're actually going to do is take the USB and we're going to plug it in to the RG100 handset. That's right, we're going to plug the tablet into the handset. And what we see next is I've accidentally ac activated the torch, so we'll just turn that off. And the tablet is actually charging. So if you can see that, but up in the corner there we see the LED and also the charging sign in the corner of the screen. So what we have is the RG100 charging another device. Now, this doesn't have to be a rug gear device, this might be 
uh, a certain Apple manufacturer, this might be a Samsung tablet, it could be an MP3 player, a friend's phone if he doesn't have a rug gear, um, it could be anything. So what we're going to do is just turn that off for a second and we're going to unplug the charger. There we go. And always important to replace the caps on these so that the handset is fully waterproof again. Just having a quick look at the back of the handset you'll see we have a recessed camera lens that avoids that getting too dirty and also avoids it getting any sort of impact and breaking the little lens over the 1.3 megapixel camera. Uh, we have a couple of screws which secure the back cover down and we have the infamous vented speaker. The vented speaker is used obviously to keep any sort of liquid and any uh, dirt and dust out of the speaker vent and keep the volume nice and loud on the handset. Now the handset actually has another secret feature which I think we can show you today but we are just going to have to pair it up very quickly with my iPhone to make sure that that works. And you did hear correct there, I am using an iPhone today purely for the purpose of demonstration of course. We're just going to pair that up very quickly. So turn the Bluetooth power on. That's currently searching over on my iPhone. And now that the power is on, we're going to try the other RG100, uh, which is now connected. You'll see that actually says device connected. Now, why would you want to pair an iPhone or another device with the RG100, I hear you ask? The answer is that you can actually use the device as a Bluetooth speaker. So that actually will enable you to play your music through the handset. So currently, over on the iPhone, we have the track playing, but that audio is actually coming out of <coughs> the RG100. That's it for today's video, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you'd like to leave any comments below, please subscribe to us online. And for further information on the Rug Gear RG100, visit the web links at the bottom. I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you for the next phone.